demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make a version of this card using the brand new Wine Time dies by John Next Door. And in here you get 15 dies and you get the wine bottle, the label, the label insert, the glasses, the inserts for the glasses, some beautiful vine leaves and grapes and the little sentiment wine time, which we're not going to use in this one, but there'll be plenty more demonstrations on the shows of showing you how to use those too. But we're going to basically concentrate on making the bottle and the glasses up. So we'll move that to one side and I'm going to move the die and I'm going to move my pieces in. So the very first thing that I want to do is to cut the bottle. So here I've got a piece of linen card. This is Crafts 2 linen card and this I think is Christmas green. But it just makes the perfect sort of wine bottle colour. So we take the die down and cut it and it's just a really simple die to cut. Really easy. It cuts through. I'm just running it through my Kaleido. So it'll fit through every machine, even the small mouthed ones. And again, the aperture is quite nice to use for other projects. So you could use that or you could cut a row of them out. There's so many options with this one. It's crazy. So what I want to do now is to add a little bit of shading. So I'm going to use a sort of a brownish colouring. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of scrap paper just so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got a, a quick dry ink pad in brown here and a finger dauber. And I'm going to on one side go quite heavy. So I'm doing this on the right hand side and this is to give it a 3D look and across the bottom and I'm going quite heavy on one side and then on the other side I'm not going to add any more ink I'm just going to go around the edge just so that that one is shaded but a lot lighter. So hopefully you can see now how the bottle suddenly takes on a real 3D appearance. So we'll move our ink away. And so I now have my bottle. So I'm then going to take the two pieces of the label because you get two different pieces of the label. And I want to cut those. I want to give one a sort of a rim to the label and one not. And what I've already done is I've cut the gold, the larger one in gold and the smaller one in a brown craft card. And again, I'll just bring in my paper because I want to shade the label. You could stamp over this. You could use peel offs on it or anything else. And again, heavier on the right hand side, lighter on the left to keep that idea of the shading across. So hopefully you can see on there how we've shaded that label. So again, I'll move the ink out of the way and I'm just going to use my glue glaze to glue these together. So this is a flat quick grab glue and it's so easy for these smaller parts. So we'll pop that into the center. And reposition that. This is great for gluing down sort of mirror card and shiny satin cards and things. And I'm gonna pop that on if you notice, it's already been shaped. The die is already shaped to give you that 3D label look. So if I put that on a piece of white, you'll see how it's already got that 3D edge really simply, but it looks as if it's been sort of shaded. And if you're not happy, if you want it a little bit darker, you can always add a little bit more ink. You could cut it in cork again and put a little brown cork on the top. There's a lot of different things that you can do. So that's our bottle. So I'll move that out of one, out of the way. And what I want to do now is to cut my glasses. And I want my glasses to appear like they've got wine in them. So I'm going to take a slightly longer piece of low tack tape. And I'm going to take the wine glass insert and the wine glass. Pick up the insert. Hover over the glass, pick it up and tape it down. I'm going to do exactly the same with the other glass, the sort of champagne glass. So again, longer piece of tape, pick up the middle, into the centre of that, put that in, and we'll simply run those through and cut them. And I've already done that, so what I get when I get that are these two with the open sections. 
really simple, really easy. So next I need to do is to cut my actual wine glasses. Let's pop those down there for a little minute. So this time I've gone for, this is a grape color. And I simply want to cut the two glasses solid. So I'm going to take those down. I'm actually going to cut these again so that you can just see them cut. So we run those through and again, these will go through your smallest of die cutting machines. There we go. And we get matching wine glasses to fill in. So we'll just pop our dies away. And what will happen is, if you drop this over the top, you get it looking like it's got sort of wine in there. But the one thing you'll find is it's a little bit difficult sometimes to pop the bottom on. So I just snip the stems of those glasses off so I don't have to worry about lining it up. I'm just going to bring in my spray box and simply give these a little spray with spray glue. I'm using Craft Mount by 3M. We'll pick those up and we will glue them over the top. There we go, one and two. And if you want to give it a real glossy look, make it look as if it is liquid, you want to grab something like glossy accents. So I'm just gonna grab a scrap piece of paper to pop these on so they don't spill anywhere. Can you see there when I check it on white, there's a little bit of an edge popping. So just line it up properly. And then I'm using glossy accents, but you can use anything like this. I'm just All I'm going to do is just fill this area. And this is why we did the glass as a hole in the middle, so that the glossy accents just sits in there. There we go. And we would simply leave those to dry for the for the drying time that there is in your in the product that you're using. With glossy accents, I always say a couple of hours to be honest, unless I pop it on a radiator and then I can get it a little bit quicker. But when they dry, you can see now. I get this beautiful glossy wine look. So next thing we need to do is you will need to cut the smaller pieces. So we have a section that has leaves and like grapes on it, grapes and three individual leaves. Now I've already cut those. So there's the section with the leaf. There is the grapes. And I've got one, I've already colored one, two, and we'll bring one into color, three. So those are the pieces you'll get from passing it through. So I've cut those in green and those in the grape color. And I'm just gonna take my dauber with a little bit of brown ink and I'm simply going to go around the edge and just age those leaves a little bit with brown. It just makes them look so much more 3D and it's really easy to do. And if you do it while holding it in the air, it means you just get that little on the edge. It doesn't completely color them, but it gives them far more of a 3D natural look. And I do exactly the same with the grapes. Again, it will just give them a little bit of a more of a 3D look and make it look as if you've done some clever colouring. Now, with the grapes, you'll notice that this grape matches with this grape here. So the idea is you can have a bunch of grapes with leaves really easily. I'm using glue glaze, again, by Craft Artist. And all I do is tie up the little stem. It's easier to do it in the air on my hands and you can see it. I tie up the little stem with the grape and you can see there, then I've got a little bunch of grapes with leaves in it. So really, really easy. 
and then all I'm going to do is I've got all the pieces I can construct my card. So I've got a little sentiment here and I'm going to use Versafine in Smoky Grey because there's no black in this card. So I don't want a black sentiment because it will shout out too much. And the sentiments are coming out um, later in this year. So this one is difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations. And I've decided to do this as a long car. And so a little bit of foam tape on my bottle and I go part way up the actual top of the bottle. So I think we'll have him there, tucked behind. Now the rest of this card has been made using the John Nextdoor canard edges. And we're going to take again, a little bit of glue glaze because it's really easy to glue. These finer details on. So I'll just get that glued down. You may find with the glossy accents, you may need to hold it because it may warp it slightly. With the little champagne glass, I'm going to take a little bit of foam tape and just cut it in half. You could use your little foam pads just so this is raised slightly. And I'll cut a tiny little piece just to go in there. Now, I stick this in, if you see, there's a little bit sticking over the edge. Trim that off. It's easier to do that than try and make it to size. So we'll just take our cover off here. Well done. Pop that one off, but there we go. It's still fine. Okay. I think we might have that one tipping over slightly. And then it's just a case of decorating up with our pieces. So I think I might have the wine there. So it's just going over the label. I've got my three leaves. So I'm just going to tuck those in around the glasses. Perhaps a little bit around that bottom. There we go. And perhaps one more. It's up to you how you want to arrange these. You could pop some more grapes in if you want to. I've actually got a few more grapes here cut and shaded. So I'm just going to pop those in. This is the fab thing about a die. You can just cut and add the pieces that you want to. Let's tuck you behind. And there we have a different version of the card. And I love the idea of the wine on there and difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations. And here we did it as if it was sort of a really red wine. There's a really sort of grapey wine. But using the same dye to make two completely sort of similar but different cards. <laughs>